Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Our planet is made up of a vast variety of things. Some of those things are called living things, while others are called non-living things. Additionally, living things are called organisms. How can we determine if something is living or non-living? There are special features to look out for when making this determination. All living things need some form of energy or nutrients like food. Some living things take in nutrients by eating while others, like plants, will make their own food by using the energy from the sun through a process called photosynthesis. All living things also need water to survive. This includes both plants and animals. With the supply of nutrients and water, all living things will grow and change. Some will grow to a certain size, then stop, while others will grow continuously throughout their lifetime. All living things adapt to changes in their environment for example, when birds migrate to warmer areas for nesting and breeding, or when an animal's fur color changes to match the season so they can better camouflage. Even when a human puts on a winter coat, they are adapting to the changes in their environment. These are all ways in which living things adapt to changes in their environment. All living things reproduce or make more of themselves. They do this by making seeds or by having babies through live births or laying eggs. When making the distinction, one should ask the following questions. Does this thing need food or water? Does it grow or change? Does it reproduce? Does it react to changes in the environment? If the answer is yes to all of these questions, then it is a living thing. If the answers are no, then it is a non-living thing. Let's try to determine if the following are living or non-living things. Living things come in all shapes, colors, and sizes. They need food and water. 
They grow and change. They adapt to changes in their environment. And they reproduce. Take a walk around your neighborhood. Visit a park or zoo. How many living things can you find? Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time, keep learning. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.